वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन हैव अ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वाई पैरामीटर बाय वन एग्जांपल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज वाई पैरामीटर हाउ टू मेजर वाई पैरामीटर वॉट आर द इक्वेश ऑफ वाई पैरामीटर राइट एंड हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई सीमेट्रिसिटी एंड रेसिप्रोसिटी ऑफ वाई पैरामीटर सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन वाई पैरामीटर so let us see the question first so here question is simply find y parameters for given resistive network so let us consider here we are having port 1 and here we are having port 2 and let us say at port 1 we are providing voltage v1 and we are having voltage v2 at port 2 and current going inside at port 1 that is i1 and current going inside at port 2 that is i2 see this polarity is very essential that you must remember right before you solve y parameter for any network right sometimes what i have seen is students are changing polarity of i1 and i2 it should be going inside the network always remember that right now for a measurement of y parameter over here what i'll be doing is first i'll be shorting port 2 and i'll measure y11 and y12 right i'll show you how to do that so let us short port 2 first so when you provide short circuit over here right let me redraw this circuit first so when you provide short circuit over here at that time this v2 that will be zero right and now you see this current i2 that will be happening over here right and same circuit that i have drawn it over here so now what we will do is we will identify y11 and y12 by this port 2 short circuited right so here you see this is short circuited so even if you disconnect this resistor that will be fine so let me disconnect this as it is getting short right now see when you want to calculate y11 right so that is what v1 by i1 so that you can simply say that it is reverse of impedance over here right so simply if you calculate v1 by i1 then that is what this impedance which you are looking from here so that is what that is 1 in series you see this 1 in series with parallel of 2 and 1 right and now you see this is 1 plus 2 into 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so that is 3 plus 2 5 by 3 now what is y11 y11 that is y is current to voltage ratio and 11 means you see first one that is there with denominator and second one that is there with numerator right but here both are one so there is no issue so i1 by v1 that will be 3 by 5 right i1 by v1 that will be 3 by 5 so this is what mo y11 right that we are having so you can say input impedance that is 3 by 5 now when you want to calculate y 1 2 2 right so in that case now you need to have a relation of i1 and i2 we already have i1 by v1 so if you find i2 by v1 right so that will be y12 so if you have i1 and i2 relation then you can have y12 so what is the i1 and i2 relation so simply that you can have as per current divider rule so you see here this i2 now you see this i1 that will get bisect in this and in this branch so obviously i2 is negative of i1 so i'm writing minus of i1 right and in this branch current will be this resistance divided by addition of both resistance so 2 plus 1 now see i can say that i2 is minus i1 into 2 by 3 and 
as if I wanted to have i2 by v1, right? So what I can do? I can just place i2 is equals to value in terms of i1, right? So minus i1 by v1 into 2 by 3 that I can say, right? Now what is i1 by v1? 3 by 5. So this is minus 3 by 5 into 2 by 3. So this 3 will get cancelled and this will be minus 2 by 5 more, right? And that is what i2 by v1, i2 by v1 is y, you see first digit that is denominator's digit, so 1 and second digit that is numerator's digit that is 2, right? So y12 that we are having. Now for this circuit, for this circuit if you want y22 and y21, in that case you will have to provide short circuit at port 1, right? So let me do that first. So you see here we are having a circuit in which I have provided port 1 as a short circuit, right? And as this is short circuit, you can say that we can have a measurement of y22 and y21. Now what is y22? That is v2 by i2 by v2 and what is y21? That is i i1 by v2, right? So see, first what we can do is, we can find v2 by i2, that is impedance which is measured in between these two terminal, right? So what is that impedance? You see, half is parallel with this circuit and in this circuit, we have 1 in series with parallel of 1 and 2, right? So that is how v2 by i2 will be there and then we will do reverse of that to have i2 by v2. So this is half parallel, now we need to solve it from this side. So 1 plus 1 parallel to that is 1 into 2 divided by 1 plus 2 and now half is equals to take LCM. So this will be 3 plus 2 5 by 3. Now half parallel 5 by 3, so that is half into 5 by 3 divided by half plus 5 by 3. If you take LCM of 2 and 3, then this will be in numerator there will be 5 and in denominator there will be 3 plus 10, 13. So I can say that I2 by V2, that is reverse of this 13 by 5 and that is Y22, right? So that is how we can have Y22. Now if you have relation of i1 and i2, then we can have i1 by v2, that is y21, right? So let us find the relation of i1 and i2 for this particular case. So here, if you observe with this circuit, what I'll do is, first I'll simplify this circuit over this side. So now you see one parallel to that is 1 into 2 divided by 1 plus 2, so that is 2 by 3. Right, and 2 by 3 in series with 1, that is 5 by 3. So I'm, what I'm doing is, now you see, I'm providing 5 by 3 resistor over here. Here we are having half, right. And here we are having current I2. And we are having voltage V2 like this, right. So the 5 by 3 is what? 1 parallel to, that is 2 by 3 in series with 1. So that is 2 by 3 plus 1, that is 5 by 3, right? Now what I'll do is, first I'll find current in this branch, that is I2 dash. So we'll be having I2 dash over here. And then I'll find current in this branch with the relation of I2 dash, right? So see how I'm doing this. So I2 dash is how much? I2 dash, that is current I2, right, into opposite resistance that is half divided by total resistance so that is 5 by 3 plus half. Now let us simplify this so I2 into half will get cancelled and 3 will go in numerator and here 10 plus 3 13 will be there so that is I2 dash. Now we have I2 dash in terms of I2 now we can have 
I2 dash in terms of I1. So you see I2 dash will get bisected in this and this branch. So I1 is there in opposite direction to this, right? So I can say that I1 that is what negative of I2 dash into in this branch we want to find current. So multiplication of this resistance and division of addition of both. So 2 divided by 1 plus 2, right? And you see as per current divider I have explained in this branch current will be this resistance divided by both resistance into total current, right? Now I2 dash that is I2 into 3 by 13 into 2 by 3. So this 3 will get cancelled and I can have I1 that is I2 into 2 by 13, right? Now you see I can have I1 by V2, right? Now what is I1? I1 is I2 into 2 by 13 divided by V2 that I can say and I2 by V2 that we have calculated, right? So I2 by V2 that is 13 by 5 into 2 by 13. So this 13 will get cancelled and this will be 2 by 5. So I1 by V2 is what? Y, right? Admittance as per current by voltage ratio and denominator digit that is first and numerator digit that is second. So I Y21 that is our admittance which is reverse transfer admittance, right? And that is 2 by 5 and its value is negative. Here I have mistaken, right? It's negative over here. Do not do this mistake, right? The reason is I have seen that whenever you have only resistive network at that time Y21 and Y12 both will be negative always, right? So that even will helps you sometimes if you have only resistive network. In that case, you should know that Y21 and Y12 that should be negative and it, it is there in terms of Mo, right? So that even you should understand. I hope you have understood this video. Still, if you have any query, just place that in comment box. I'll definitely get back to you and I'll explain you how we can resolve this type of questions in other ways even, right? There will be many more problems that I'll be going to place it in this playlist. So don't worry about that. Thank you so much for watching this video.